We're going to be driving in the multi-storey car park today. We're going to find a safe spot to reverse into. And then once we finish, we're going to drive back out and I'll be talking about what you should be doing when we're in there. So that's what we're going to be doing, driving into a multi-storey car park. It's aimed at people who've passed the driving test, but uh, if you've got your test coming up and you're thinking that you're going to be driving straight away, then this is the sort of thing you're going to be doing. Um, it's actually two videos I've got here because the first one I attempted to go into, um, it was full. But I thought, why not show that anyway? Because it's sort of thing you're going to get what's going to happen to you. There's no in indication that it's full. I drove in there, drove round, came straight back out. And the second video, uh, which I've added straight onto it, so it joins it together, is uh, where this space is. So when I do find a space, I'm going to reverse into a parking space and I'm going to drive back out. And while I'm driving around, I'm talking about what sort of things are going to be in that car park. So I hope you like it. If you do, give it the thumbs up and um, enjoy the video. So we're, we're going to go and park in a multi-storey car park and... Um, once we're parked up, we're going to come back out. So it might seem easy to people who've passed the driving test, but to be honest, if you've never done that as a learner, it's quite scary. So that's what we're going to do. So if, one, if people are wondering, I'm in Milton Keynes, in the town centre, central Milton Keynes. We're going to do a right turn at this little crossroads. It's a tricky little one, so you've got to be careful. And then we're going to be going into the uh, multi-storey car park. Now, the advice I'd give you in multi-storey car parks is if you've never been in one, which will probably include about, oof, about 75% of the learners don't go in them, then you just got to take your time. So here it is on the left. So we're going to go left into here. And what you'll find in multi-storey car parks is, is that the, the bottom level, the first level, usually fills up pretty quick. It fills up with um, disabled spaces and parent and toddler spaces, which is fine. Um, and then there's a, there's a few spaces for, for people who just haven't got kids. Got speed bumps, obviously it's gonna go a bit dark, so it might look a little bit funny on the, the face, the picture. with the lighting, so it's reflecting things. So yeah, you've got to take your time. And we're using first gear. We're not going to use second or third, it's just crazy. So you can see, I'm looking round, and the first level looks practically full, which is normal. I mean, it's Friday afternoon, three o'clock, so I'm not expecting anything different. So I'm using first gear, and I'm, and I'm kind of riding that clutch. My foot's on the clutch with a bit of gas. Um, if you're not sure what I mean by that, I'll put a link on a video about driving in busy traffic how to use the clutch and we're going to go in up to the next level because the first level's the first level is actually full so the trick here is first gear slow and I'm going to go wide to the left because I'm going to turn to the right if I go too close to that I'm going to hit it and I'm looking where I want the car to go and I'm going slow and straighten up looking in my mirrors so I'll hit the back of the car and top of the hill or top of this ramp is a queue of traffic so this is a normal Friday afternoon in a queue of traffic. This is a nightmare for a learner. I'm stop on a hill. And brake on, quite high. Bit, bit more gas, well I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything yet, it's not moved. Bit more gas, bit more biting point, and holding that clutch steady. This is the sort of thing you, you're gonna get in a multi-story car park, a queue of traffic. Don't get too close to the car in front of you, because all you're gonna get is the fumes sucked up. So it's not very, not a very nice car park, it's full, which is a sort of typical um, town centre. And what you're gonna find is that the, the, the first couple of levels are gonna fill up pretty quick because no one likes walking so far. So it, it might have not get a space at this right? But this is what, it's what it's like. So I'm looking around, looking for spaces. And because it's free, there's a good chance I'm not going to get space either. I'm just going to drive a bit further up, see if there's anything up here. Because if there's no space, I'll be coming back out. I'm 
I'm taking my time. One's reversing in there, so people are leaving. I suppose it's just a matter of a bit of luck, really. And then waiting. So it looks like I'm not going to get a space, which is, I suppose, it's a normal sort of normal sort of stuff, really. What's going on here? Nothing, let's move on. I thought someone was gonna pull in there and move off. I'm taking my time looking for a space, which my hope of a space is dropping pretty rapid here. <laughs> so, so um, it's looking not good for a space. It looks like a lot of cars and not a lot of spaces. So I might be on the way straight back out in a second. But it can't go because there's no rush. I'm going wide and turning into it. There we go. I'm just taking my time. I'm on the clutch with the brake on at this point if people are wondering. taking me time to give way point there just double check though don't trust other cars and just have a quick check down there see if there's a space no nope. so there's no space at all looks like it's full some car parts tell you that they're full but this one doesn't <laughs> obviously at that point I'm I'm going back out so that was a quick drive into a car park unsuccessfully parking up I have to say but sometimes these things happen you've got to go to park up and if you go to car park and you get there and it's full you're not going to get space but you still got to be careful when you're driving around because otherwise you're going to drive into something or post a person or even a car so we're just going to bring ourselves out of this area here back in in the daylight <laughs> so that was a unsuccessful parking into a multi-story car park because it's full so I'll just let get past this bit here that's fine and then we'll do a left turn so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to another car park so i'll stop the film at this point and um, we'll move to another car park so we're going to try and get into a into a parking space in a multi-story car park now if you watched the previous one I've just recorded, it was unsuccessful. I got into it and it's full. Went all the way around and straight back out. So this one coming up here, it's a brand new one. Uh, it's been built about, I think about six months now, seven months. Just before Christmas, it got built. So it's a fairly modern one. It's got sensors on it, so it kind of senses you when you, it tells you when um, the space is by lights above the bays. So, um, and it's not a very dear one either, but if you can get a free one, then you've cracked it. Because no one likes paying for things. I don't like paying for parking space, that's why I went to that free one first. But uh, I suppose Friday afternoon, these things are going to happen. So, the trick about going to ones that um, car parks, I might have mentioned it previously, is the first story, the first floor tends to fill pretty quickly. Um, and the higher you go, the more spaces you've got. So if you're worried about parking spaces, then go to a higher, sp higher floor and then you'll find as, as you get towards the top floor, it's practically empty. So uh, as soon as these lights change over, we'll get driving in. So this seems to be taking forever. Here we go. And because it's gonna be a pain display, I'll talk through what's gonna happen because it'll be interesting. Because I, I think I've been in it once so we're going to go left turn to it. It says you've got 637 spaces, so I should be able to find a space. So I'm just looking what's going on there. 
So you just got to be careful when you go and see these ones that pay and display because you can cost you a fortune. But I do know this one's not very dear. I think it's about um, two, a pound for two hours, something like that. Yeah, it says on there, pound for two hours, right in front of me. <laughs> I'm talking about it. There's a sign there saying right in front of me. So it's quite a cheap one compared to some. So I'm just going to go to the right lane and I'm just going to read what it says as I go around. Or tell us what level. So yeah, the bottom level's got less. As you go higher up, there's more spaces. And this is interesting. You've got, you've got to press the button. So you've got to take your time, get your window down, get yourself lined up and watch it whack the curves. So when you go in, you're taking your time. It's saying stop. Press the ticket. There's my ticket. That's a bit fancy. Well done. <laughs> so yeah, you press the ticket and it and it it dishes one out, opens the barrier. So I'm just being a bit careful because it, the road's narrowing. There's three three entrances there. And uh, parking level. Well, I'm going to go up. So I'm going to go this way. And it's an, a new one, so it's quite a bit lit up, a bit better. But just take your time, first gear, keep yourself away from the sides because that's where you're going to scratch your car or knock your bumper off if you don't watch it. And as I'm driving around now, there's loads of black tyre marks where people have hit them already. So you just got to be careful. I'm going to go left here, so I'm slowing down to check because you can never tell what's coming. So yeah. This brand new in it is telling me it's got more spaces at the top, so it's 38. So I'm going to go to the right and try and find a tight spot. So it's saying we've got 38 spaces up here somewhere. And I'm going to go down this top end down here. Now, what's interesting is these little lights at the top of on the roof there. Red lights, it's full. Green lights is a space. That's what it's telling me. So I'm driving along here, going slow, and I'm looking for a green light. At the moment, they're all red. So I don't know where these first nine spaces are. <laughs> so, so I could be driving around and going back to the next level, that's right. So it's just nice and full, but because it's a new one, it's a bit wider compared to the last one. It's a little bit more friendly. It's not so scary. Because it can get a bit scary, but these little crossings, you've got to watch out for people crossing because they come from nowhere. I'm just taking my time, not rushing, expecting cars, it's a one-way system. Now, is that a space in the car there? I think it is. I'll just have, have a look. It is, so I'm just gonna get myself lined up to reverse in. It's a nice, easy one. Pop it in reverse, take my time. And I'm going to reverse in. Taking me time. Taking me time. Taking me time. And reversing in. And then stopping. All right. So remember, um, when you're going into these pack spaces, you can't rush. So let's get going then. So we're just going to find the exit and um, get out of this car park. So I've got the ticket paid for because if you, because it's a pay and display one, you're probably going to find that you're going to have to pay for the ticket before you leave. So as you're about to leave, you go and pay for the ticket and that way you've got about five or ten minutes to get out of the car park before they charge you more. So we're just going to look for the exit. So it says exit sign left. We're going to follow it down. So I'm just going wide because I don't want to hit the barriers. And we're going slow in first gear on the clutch, covering the brake. So it's a nice wide one, so there's no point in getting close to the left because all you're going to do is hit the barrier and just go slow. Don't feel like you've got to go fast because if you start going fast, you're going to lose control. And just take your time, use your brakes a lot. Just ride that clutch foot on the brake. Looking for the sign exit left, it's saying. No entry ahead of us. And we're on the ground floor now. And it's saying maximum speed five miles an hour. 
and it looks like I'm going straight ahead to get out. Yeah, so I've let these people get past me. So I'm going to take the middle one, put it straight in front of me. Open the win, open the window to put the ticket in. Slowing down for the oh, automatic one. It registered the fact that I paid. Even better, it saves me putting the stuff in. So that was a nice, easy one to get out of. We'll do a right at the end of here. I'm not used to that, you see. Usually, what usually happens is you slow down, stop, put your ticket in, and it opens for you. That's a fancy one. It's even got a fancy bell on it. So that's a quick one, getting in, in the car park and getting out. I hope it makes a little bit of sense for you because after you pass your test and you're actually um, new to, to actually driving around car parks because it's not a sort of thing you would tend to do on your driving lesson, it's the sort of thing you do after you pass your test. So if you're new to driving and you're wondering how to do it, then I'm hoping this helps you. So good luck with your, your driving after you passed and um, give us a thumbs up and good luck, be safe on the roads.